Oh, here I am to talk to you about the plumbing. And I wanted to send a thank you out to Patrick today because I was in this Andrew Shirt uh, plumbing place today and this really young kind of fellow and Parts Spartan was helping me. <laughs> I was too afraid even to turn the screw in the in the black knob. He showed me all you have to do is take this and turn it. And then you screw it through this hole and that's how you put it in. And I thought, well, that doesn't seem the same as the other one. So I had this kind of moment of uh, uh, intuition that really I was really intimidated by this plumbing. And then I remembered he was going through this book. And he said, well, maybe you have to change all the handles. Because those crystal plastic handles are, well, they're originals. So I remember Patrick bought the crystal plastic handles when he visited last um, May, which is more than a year ago, when he was helping me fix the plumbing. <laughs> That's how long this has been. <laughs> Anyway, so I I just wanted to send a thank you to him because of our odyssey with repairing the plumbing. And if you have a moment, could you please look at my drawing called Exits and Entrances? It's an old one I did with a pattern from a book jacket of a favorite book that your big brother gave me quite a while ago. And I just feel this plumbing is about my odyssey of repairing the plumbing in the bath, bathtub and those taps. And, you know, I, those kinds of thoughts was just a warm thought that came back to me, and, and I just wanted to say it made me happy. And we had this moment with this young fellow who he's in the parts department, just having this regular kind of job, talking to a, some, you know, middle-aged person like me. Because I told somebody today I was 55 years old, well, you sure don't look 55. So I hope he thought I was, because I surely didn't want him to, I really didn't want him to think I was anything but that. So. Anyway, I'm up, and um, I had some help today, and I came home with, with the parts I repeat. And hopefully tomorrow, everything will be functioning. You know, he showed me how to repair the, the screw where it's supposed to go. In fact, the next place I went to, I went to the next place. And I had this moment, he said, well, no, we don't have it. Just go down the street. There's a place down the street, and around the corner, this blue and white place. They'll have it, because they make the parts. So I go in there. They have this warehouse full of bolts. And he says to me, this is like... Re repairing a, an old Chevy. What do you think you're doing? You're gonna have. I said, you mean I have to go out to find somebody who's tearing their plumbing out to find this part? He says, well, you might have to. I said, you have a whole room full of bolts here. Are you telling me you can't give me one of them? He says, yeah, that's true. I cannot do that. He says, so he says, well, maybe you could go down to this other place. You have to go either the the, the short way is down the highway, or the long way is um, you have to go back to where you came from. So I thought, well, I'm not walking down the highway. There's no real path there. I don't want to risk my life for this bolt or screw, they called it. I didn't know it was a bolt or a screw, so I ended up calling it a screw. So I go down. I go back the way I came, and I go into this place. And this guy says, no, no, this is what you do. I showed him what I needed. He says, it's, I showed him the part. Now, he's the last person of the three. He says, no, it's supposed to go in here. I took him the old part. And the part that, I don't know if you call Justin broke the bolt off, the screw. He tried to repair it, and he broke the thing right off. That's what was so difficult, removing it, because the thing was stuck. And it's amazing. I think it's an absolute miracle that I got it out in the first place. Well, if you, I mean a small miracle, not like a religious, spiritual miracle, but just one of those things, you know, when I can think of good it. So, so what happened? So I want to say that he said that screw is supposed to go in that part, and that's what turns the water on and off. But it doesn't seem to happen with the hot water easily, but I took the screw out, so it came up. It didn't stick. So maybe it all got bent. I don't know. But I came home. He gave me two. I only asked for one. I says, well, do you have? They're about 20 cents each. He says, no, no, I'll give you two. It's a good, you know, I want to be that Samaritan to you today. And so anyway, if you're doing another Seinfeld show, I think one of my favorite ones is about the Good Samaritan. I don't, I haven't looked at your blog lately or your postings, but I really love that episode. So I met a Good Samaritan today. And if you think of that show, maybe you can think of a good Samaritan you might meet, because I met one, and I came home with two screws, and I'm going to repair that plug. I think I'm going to, and I know I am. And I wanted to say hello to Justin for breaking it off in the first place and teaching me what it is to have an odyssey and to enjoy my drawing exits and entrances. So please review the drawing if you have a moment. And it's on the postings. Uh, you can find it on the House of the Red Mark. Uh, and, or I can repost but anyway, I love the community that Justin's created. Thank you, Justin. And um, and Patrick, I hope you re return those handles to Canadian Tire. You got some money back. And if you didn't, well, 
Maybe just one day we'll repair it, try again, and just get the parts that were required to have them installed. Because they were very beautiful, and if you still have them, that's okay. I wish I had them, because I think they would look really, really nice, because the other ones are really old. So it's okay, we could probably fit them, and if you have them, maybe that's what you can bring with you the next time you visit. So I hope you're all well, and love, Mom.